write the balanced net ionic equation for copper to nitrite and ammonium carbonate, the first thing we do is we balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation. And all we need to do is put a coefficient of two in front of the ammonium nitrate. Two ammonium ions, we have these two here, and then we have two nitrate ions here, and two nitrate ions here. Next, we're gonna write the states for each substance following the solubility rules. That'll look like this. If you know your solubility rules, compounds with nitrate in them are very soluble. So the nitrate here and here, that's gonna be aqueous, and compounds with the ammonium ion are also very soluble. So this ammonium carbonate will be soluble. But carbonates in general aren't soluble. And copper to carbonate here, copper is a transition metal, it's insoluble. What that means is when these substances react, this will form a solid fall to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. So the CuSO4, it's a solid because it's a precipitate. Once we have our states, we can split the strong electrolytes into ions. This will give us the complete ionic equation. That looks like this. So we split the aqueous compounds and then the solid here, this copper two carbonate, it's a solid. Remember that's our precipitate. We keep that together. So we keep solids together in net ionic equations. So once we have the ions all split apart, except the solids, we can cross out the spectator ions. They're on both sides. So in the reactants on the top, products on the bottom, I have two nitrate ions here in the reactants and two nitrate ions in the products. These are spectator ions. We can cross the spectator ions out, two ammonium ions, and then again in the products, two ammonium ions. Those are spectator ions. We cross those out. What's left? is the net ionic equation for CuNO3 2 plus NH42CO3. Let's remove the spectator ions. And this is the balanced net ionic equation for this copper to nitrate plus the ammonium carbonate. The atoms are balanced and the charge, it's balanced as well too. We have two plus, two minus, gives us a net charge of zero. Over here in the products, this is neutral, net charge of zero. So that's balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for CuNO3 2 plus NH4 2CO3. Thanks for watching.